For the end of this year, I wanted to cover the year overall for cloud gaming in general. There have been ups and downs for the industry as a whole, so I wanted to cover just about everything significant that has happened to bring us right into 2024. So grab a seat. All right, kids, sit down. We're here. Grab your favorite snack, and let's get started. Now, the first big event that happened this year was NVIDIA announcing the GeForce Now Ultimate tier, changing from the RTX 3080 tier at CES, and the upgrade being free. We made a full review of the entire platform with our review here. On January 18th, Stadia shut down for good, leaving a sour taste in fans' mouths. Will Stadia return? No one knows for sure, but the way cloud gaming is going, we wouldn't be surprised. In February, Hogwarts Legacy dominates cloud gaming platforms like Boosteroid and bogs down the servers. It also provides Boosteroid with a huge jump in subscribers. Later that month, the Activision Blizzard King deal becomes the biggest gaming acquisition to date, and Microsoft offers the Microsoft Cloud Remedy to cloud platforms, starting with GeForce Now, then Boosteroid, Ubitus, and Enware several months later. This is all to help Microsoft look good for the UK CMA and FTC to close the Microsoft Activision deal. In March, Shadow announced new cloud tiers that are not just for gaming. They introduced workstation cloud machines for professionals and enterprise businesses. In April, Fortnite got added to Amazon Luna, which is free for all Amazon Prime subscribers, and greatly increased Luna's player base. In May, Lord of the Rings Gollum graces our presence as a Game of the Year finalist. Oops, I misread that. Worst Game of the Year finalist. There we go. Still played great on the GeForce Now Ultimate tier. And speaking of GeForce Now, the first Microsoft game, Gears 5, hits the GeForce Now library. In June, GeForce Now and Boosteroid announced that Xbox Game Pass support is coming to each platform. Currently, GeForce Now has received Game Pass functionality and we're still waiting on Boosteroid. In July, GTA 5 returns to the Xbox Game Pass, and now you can find this on PS Plus. The jokes write themselves, guys. In August, Baldur's Gate 3 launches on cloud platforms and destroys GeForce Now servers. As expected though, because Baldur's Gate 3 ends up being Game of the Year. Later in the month, the cloud gaming platform Enware shuts down. They were based in Spain and they also had a 10-year deal with Microsoft along with GeForce Now and Boosteroid. In September, the highly anticipated Bethesda game Starfield releases on various cloud platforms. The hype for the game has come and gone. We also learned this month that Activision games will be streaming with a Ubisoft Plus subscription through any cloud platform that supports Ubisoft Plus. This should include platforms like Amazon Luna. The Indian-based platform OnePlay also enters the cloud gaming scene. They'll be hitting the Western world in early 2024. Make sure to subscribe to keep updated with the latest news on OnePlay. In October, Shadow got hit with a security breach, and because of this, many have left the service. Plus, GeForce Now increases their prices in Europe. The end of October introduced the arrival of 4K streaming on the PS5 for PS Plus Premium subscribers. In November, GeForce Now launched the long-awaited Call of Duty franchise on top of announcing that they are sold out of various tiers. Incredible timing! And finally, in December, cloud gaming services have maxed out in capacity. GeForce Now is sold out in all regions. Xbox Cloud is still suffering from increased wait times, and now so is Boosteroid. Boosteroid just added a queue system, and everyone is losing their minds. One thing's for sure, the demand for cloud gaming is out of this world. What will 2024 bring for gamers in the cloud? We're all eager to find out. That about wraps up the major events of the year in the world of cloud gaming. Let us know what your favorite or infamous moment was from the year. And if you like this review of cloud gaming in 2023, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight. Happy New Year and welcome 2024!